All right, I'm going to show you just an example here of how we might implement the redim preserve statement. So what we are going to create in this screencast, I've got a selection here, and we want to find fives. Now the selection is not always going to be the same. It could be a three by four here, or it could be um, any size selection. So we, we want to make our subroutine adaptable to any size. We've got different numbers of fives maybe in each selection that we use this subroutine on. So we want to make it adaptable to find fives. We're going to create a vector that might be different sized and we want to preserve. In this case, we are going to take in the row number and the column number of where the fives are located and then we're going to export that to the sheet. So if I run this sub, the Microsoft elves found at least one five, so it's going to notify us of that. And then it's, uh, I'm going to kind of show you how we can use this um, input box application to select the range where the user wants the data to be exported to. So I'm just going to click, I'll just click in cell A5, I click OK, and then it says the Microsoft Elves found fives in the following cells. So we have the row index and the column index. So we have row one, column three, two, two, and the three, four position. So let me show you how we can build this. Just like a lot of subroutines that act on selections, we need to count the number of rows, count the number of columns. We're going to iterate through. So we're going to need indices I and J. Then we're going to need to create two vectors. We're going to have vectors called row marker and column marker, which is going to mark, we're going to store the row and column indices wherever we find a five. So I've dimmed row marker, a vector of integers, call marker, vector of integers. These, we don't know the size yet, and these are going to be resizable because every time we find a five, we're going to increase the size of this. I'm also storing K, which is going to be kind of a running tally of how many different fives we have found, and that'll govern then the size of our two vectors. We are then going to count the number, the number of rows, the number of columns of our selection. Whenever we iterate through a selection like this, we iterate through all rows, I going from one to number of rows, all columns in each row, J going from one to number of columns. And then if we encounter a five in our selection, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bump up this integer K by one. So when we find the first five, we're going to set k equal to one. And then we're going to redim preserve the two vectors row marker and call marker with uh, size k. And we're preserving because when k is greater than one, we're going to already have stuff in our row marker and call marker vectors. The row marker and call marker vectors then, so the kth element of row marker, the kth element of call marker will be i and j. So we basically just mark, whenever we, find a, whenever we find a five, we increase the size of row marker and call marker each by one, and then we're going to record. So that element, the kth element of row marker is going to be i, the kth element of call marker will be j. And then we can move on. Now here, the now what we need to do is we need to output this back to the spreadsheet. We want it to be kind of in tabular form. So I'm going to set up a two-way if-then. If k is not equal to 0, that, that means we found at least one 5. We're going to output that in the message box. Otherwise, if k is not, so if k is 0, we're going to output, sorry, we didn't find any 5s. So that'll be the first thing that we do. The next thing then is we need to work on exporting this back to the spreadsheet. We're going to obtain, using the input box application, where on the spreadsheet the user is going wants the data to be exported to. And to do, th to do this, we set user range equal to application.input box prompt equals uh, select cell where expert export shall begin. This underscore just means that it's continued on the next line, just uh, so I didn't have to go too far to the right. Then we have a title and we have a type 8, which means that the it has to be a range. It can't be a number or a string. It's, uh, it's a range. In order to do this, user range has to be dimmed as a range. So I've dimmed user range as range. Now we are going to select the user range. 
This will specify where the user wants to initiate the export of the data. And now in the active cell, so the 1, 1 position of the user range that they selected, we're just going to put a label. Uh, the Microsoft Elves found fives in the following cells. And we just add a couple of um, labels here. We're going to go one row down and put a row index label. And we're going to go one row down and one column over to create the column index uh, label. Now we're going to go through an iteration of 1 through k. k represents the number of fives that were found. So we're going to do active cell offset i plus 1 rows. That's where we're going to put the ith element of the row marker vector. We're going to do the same, but we're going to offset by one column, and we're going to put the column marker of index i there. So we're going to do that through all for all the different fives that were found. And then we will be done. So let's go ahead and step through this. Let's make sure it works. I've got my selection selected over here. I'm going to go ahead and go F8. We count the number of rows, count the number of columns. Now we're iterating through our selection here. The 1, 1 position is not a 5. We don't find the first 5 until the 1, 3. So let's go a couple more here. Now we find the first 5 in cell C1. K gets bumped up to 1. Now we redim preserve the row marker and column marker vectors. Now they should have size 1. And we go down here in the locals window. We see that they both have size um, 1. I didn't put the option base 1 down here. It doesn't really matter in this case. So we found the first row, third column as our first 5. Now I keep going and going. And we just iterate through our selection. So I'm just going to hold this down. We go, it does our thing. It's, we found three fives now, k equals three. And finally, when we're done, k is not equal to zero because we found an item. So we're going to do a message box. We found at least one five. Then this set user range equals application dot input box is kind of a nice way that the user can decide where to export the data. So I'm going to just do click A5, and that's where it, it will begin. I could also highlight, you know, a multiple range, but it's just going to it's just going to use that first, the one one position. We select the user range. We in the active cell we're going to put just uh, the Microsoft Elves found fives in the following cells, and then we start. We add our row index column label, our column index label, and now we initiate our export where we're going from 1 to K, and we're just exporting the rows and columns, um, and then we end. So this is just kind of a, a basic example of how you might use the redim preserve statement. Uh, in an actual application. Thanks for watching.